you feel like it level some playing field with just a new remodeled surface here? I don't know. This is such a big unknown, and we're running these restrictor plates here, and I, I don't know what to expect, really. So the old Atlanta I love. This one I'm, I'm kind of dreading a little bit because I'm not a big fan of plate plate style racing myself, but hopefully we put on a good show and we don't crash all the hell. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's just we'll see tomorrow, I guess, you put all these cars on this racetrack. Um, do you approach it mentally like you do a restricted plate race? That's what I'm saying. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. I'm starting 18th, right in the middle of the field, and yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes at first. All I know is the guy said in the test that they're wide open for 30 laps, so I don't see handling being an issue, really. But, um, yeah, just so many unknowns, I really don't know what to tell you. Is it almost the case where you're trying to get through with a solid finish and not tear it, especially for a smaller team? Yeah, I mean, I'd love to. I want to win the race, to be honest. I mean, I don't want to just you know, finish 15th. Uh, but yeah, we need a solid point today. Uh, that Daytona wreck put us in a big hole. We're still trying to dig our way out. So we don't, we don't need to wreck this car for sure. I mean, this is a, a really good car that we brought here. And this is one of our good intermediate cars. So hopefully we do get out of here in one piece. That'd be very nice. Uh, with the top 10 or better. Obviously that's a great day, but the Xfinity Series competition is stacked more than ever and it's tough.